What time is it? <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up? Welcome to part two of time management. I feel like I'm in Stranger Things Fall Edition. Uh, kind of, it's got like the stuff all floating around. Yeah. Oh, like the stuff floating. I was gonna. Mm -hmm. say, oh, I don't really have like all these or glasses. What's up, people? Whatever. What's up? Say what's up if you're popping on. Say what's up. This is day six. Hopefully you did your homework, and hopefully you're getting some value out of this. And um, we're gonna. We're, this is part two of time management. Time management. So um, I know we got kind of cut off last night. We had uh, some stuff to do with our clients, um, our mastermind group. So uh, we want to continue. We want to make sure that you have a good time management. Um, Hold, clear, <laughs> clarity, routine, whatever. So say what's up if you're popping on. Say hey. Say hey. I see um, Kathleen on. I see Steve. Um, so we can get some better visibility. I'm going to bring this thing up over here. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's talk about breakthroughs. Lavetta, you need to call me after this. Call her, girl. <laughs> Call What's her up, Jacoby? I was girl. just gonna text you, so call me. <laughs> She's like, it's like a big, it was just one big reminder. It's like, ooh, ooh, uh, Monica, hit me up. Seth, what's going on, dude? Uh, I texted you, Seth. Hey, Lavetta, call me. Okay. Um, we need to talk, girl. <laughs> right? Is that you at the door? Okay. Um, so, what we need to know, we need to know, one, pop a number one in the comment section, and don't be lying either, pop a number one if you actually did the homework, okay? If you did the homework uh, where you actually uh, took a, an account of your day. Integrity, guys. Mm -hmm, you best keep it. You best keep it. Um, <laughs> Look, you, I put on a bra for y'all, and it's like so what? uncomfortable. I hate wearing oh, bras. Oh, Lord, here. I... No, I, don't, I don't, there's some <laughs> things that are just some things, some things. Like, I wear a sports sports bra to the gym, and the rest of the day it's like. She's doesn't have a filter. Why I don't need. One. <laughs> why would you need a filter? I like, need one. That's so, why y'all love me. <laughs> let's educate y'all on some time management stuff. So let's see who did I the homework. Weeb. What? I got LASIK. <laughs> I don't wear glasses anymore. All right, all right. Let's get. No, let's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's let just, me see if I can. Uh, let's get it going. All right. So, um, so who did the homework? Pop a number one in the comment section if you did the homework. Um, and pop see, a yeah. two if you don't pop wear a, a bra. Wow. Just, just certain things. <laughs> I just. I mean. He's going to stop inviting me on here. Um, yeah. <laughs> two, if you don't wear a bra. Well, every dude on here better pop a number two because, um, or we well, got a I'm problem. Well, I'm pretty sure 98% of the women on here are going to pop a two as well. Then everyone should be because, like, either women and Bras dudes. Suck. Just keep it real, but I'm just, you know, I'll, I'll pop a number two. I don't have a bra on either, so I guess we're in the same <laughs> <Seth>. boat. <laughs> Good, Seth. I'm, I'm glad. All right, so um, before everyone decides that this was a horrible decision to, ho to hop on here today, um, let's talk about time management. All right, so um, so again, let's see. Um, let me see who, who I can see who's on here that may have done the homework. So let's find somebody that, um, that did the homework. Angela did the homework, and she's the only person. All right, because so, I skipped it. My bad, y'all. It's okay. So, so let's see. So only one person did the homework. So it did you not have time to do the homework? Is that what it was, or did you just have not? You just haven't found the time to uh, to get the homework in. You know what do you, what do you what do you feel like you really struggle with? And we do want to bring out some people uh, when it comes to uh, to time management. Um, so if we can if we can help coach you through a situation and give you some action steps, you know we're more than happy. To uh, to bring out a um, a person uh, to help you with some time management stuff. So um, I know you know if we kind of pick up where we were last night, you know it, it's you know I know a lot of you were kind of in a place where um, you everything you, you know everything's got to get done. You know what I mean? Like everything has got to get done, and we want you to uh, get to a place that um, you understand what are your what your priorities are. You know, and if you want to make two thousand. Um, whatever the year you're watching this in, 
okay? Then you want to, you want to make, what are the most important things to you? You know, like, uh, what are the most important things that you want to get done? And, um, and, and what's priority? Because a lot of us aren't getting priority one done and, um, and we can do it. So let's, um, yeah, I think, I think that's cool. Let's see if we bring, let's see if we can bring Kathleen out and, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, do a time management coach. Hopefully, boom. Glasses. Oh, took mine off. And, uh, we'll bow, bow up the, the time management stuff. So when Kathleen comes on, you guys know the drill, unload the emojis. Okay. It's like giving her a huge round of applause. Um, so, Hey, what's up Kathleen? So everybody, Hello. Emojis, okay. <laughs> Give Kathleen your full support and love, and um, and let's let's go through a time management situation, and let let's see if we can get you uh, more um, more control of your time. How's that? That would be great. That would be great. <laughs> we're going to give you more hours in the day, okay? So that would be uh, awesome. We're trying to bring on um, someone else, but yeah, well, let's let's knock it out. So, yeah. how can we help you, Kathleen? How can we best help you with your time management? So let me see. Time management is uh, not something I am great at. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good at time management. Um, I've been well. The last week, I've been really studying for my license and uh, my social work license. And I keep allowing other things to get in the way of that. And then my network marketing. And it just seems like I get distracted too quickly. And I know it's something that I need to work on. And, you know, as a social worker, we're really great at telling people what they need to do and helping them with their goals. And, you know, we, we know our stuff. Right. <laughs> but implementing it for myself, I don't know why it's so hard. Right. I don't get it. Right. I think one thing, I think with anybody, it's really tough to coach yourself in right. the game. You know, pop, Papa number three, if you know that for a fact, it's tough to coach yourself, you know, in the middle of the game, you know, and, and that's why, um, that's why having good mentors, having good coaches around you, having a, a solid accountability partner, um, you know, having somebody that can say, hey, look, listen, here's the game plan for the next week. Here's the game plan for the next 30 days. Um, you know, that type of stuff is pretty vital because, uh, um, you know, even the best need coaches, mm -hmm. you need yeah. accountability, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, it is, I yeah. think that's a big one. Everyone needs a coach. I mean, no matter where you are in your life, I think everybody needs a coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then I think, you know, a lot of the times you just, you're always coaching other people mm -hmm. and then maybe, you know, it just might get hard for you sometimes because you're like, kind of brain dead by the time you're done coaching everybody else. Mm -hmm. like, that's how I feel like sometimes. I know, <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> you coached me on my birthday. Yeah. What a great gift. Yeah. <laughs> After oh. 27 people that day. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I, would say, I would say if I was going to add one thing, um, you know, one thing when it comes to time management is you got to get really clear on how much time you can dedicate to one thing. You know what I mean? I think stop clock, I think stopwatches and stop clocks are really, really awesome. Um, they can keep you on task and eventually you won't, you can actually like wean yourself away from them. But we like to divide things into either 15 minute task or 13 minute oh. task. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, so then if you say, okay, what do I got to get done? I'm studying for my social work test or my social mm -hmm. work test. Right. Um, maybe I, I want to, Let's say, do you have an idea of how many um, modules or courses or whatever you're, you're doing? I mean, is there, a certain, is there a certain amount of stuff you've got to get through? It is um, a comprehensive um, exam of three years of grad school. Okay, okay. Now, so when, it's is, had, when is uh, you to take? The November 11th, this Saturday. I've been, okay, studying, cool. so I've been studying for a, really a month. <laughs> good, so we've got a lot of time. <laughs> to uh to to knock this out okay mm -hmm. so so one thing that i made and it was really funny i tried to adjust my hat on where the glasses were um <laughs> ah, damn you mark zuckerberg you tricked me again um so i would say one i would say the first thing is you you need to delegate okay how much time am i going to spend in my network marketing business how much time do i need to spend with uh studying for this exam uh, one thing that I would say is the exam Saturday. So 
if you normally would say, hey, I'd love to work my network marketing business three hours a day. Well, you may back off to like one hour a day, mm -hmm. right? It may just be talking to three people and that's your activity for your network marketing business and maybe a post or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Because my time needs to be, the, the priority needs to be with the social worker thing, right? And see now, it's probably gonna take a lot yeah, of pressure absolutely. off of you feeling like, oh, I gotta get this done, prospect, I gotta do all these people, I gotta do these things, I gotta fix my website. Well, guess what? You're, you're in network marketing for the long haul. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's gonna be there after Saturday when you do your social worker test, which is very important, right? That's probably high priority, you know? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so then I would say, okay, how much, what do I need to get done before pretty much Friday? Um, so I'm ready Saturday, okay? And what I would do is I would lay out, okay, what do I need to get done? Okay, if I got to read seven chapters, I got to complete 10 worksheets, I would um, put all that stuff out on paper, lay it all out. And then how much time do we have left? We have pretty much Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. So just basically divide whatever needs to get done into 33%, 33%, 33%. So Wednesday, knock out 33%. And what I would do is then break that down again mm -hmm. into 15 or 30-minute increments and knock those out during the day. <clears throat> I've been trying to I've been trying to do like um like thirty minutes on a task, um okay, and I yeah. did really great yesterday. In fact, I even woke up at five thirty in the morning because I'm finding if I wake up earlier, it seems I get more done in the day. And if I wake oh, yeah. up like at seven thirty, and I don't know I don't know what that big difference is from five to seven thirty, then it seems like my day feels short. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She does that. She's, she's amazing at that. I mean, and it just, I mean, it literally like you can get so much done and then you're like, damn, I got a lot done. And you're thinking, oh God, it's gotta be like one or two o'clock already. You're like, well, dude, it's 10 AM. Let's do a movie or let's just hang like, let's, you know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> what do you do with that extra time? Right. Mm -hmm. And then if you do find yourself with an extra time, you may say, you know what? Um, I've got some extra time and you know, I may, uh, you know, do something with my network marketing business or hang out with the kids or whatever. Um, but, you know, one thing I would definitely do is as you do this for the next few days, get a, get a little cooking timer, you know, set the 30 minute timer and go, you know, and then when you're done, you're done, Just put it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll, that will actually allow you to go do something else and reflect on what you just learned. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, really, especially since it's really crunch time for you over the next few days, I would print out like a 96 sheet, like every 15 minute um, increment throughout the whole day. Is that how you say it? Increment? Yeah, increment it through is. the day. <laughs> and um, really schedule out which 30 minutes you're going to do and then maybe a 15 minute break and then maybe 30 minutes talking to people if you want for your network marketing and then, you know, a break. So I would really do that because you know you're in crunch time and you have to knock it all out by Friday. Mm -hmm. um, so I would definitely do that for this week and then just get back on track with, you know, the amount of time that you want to spend on your network marketing company next week for sure after you're done with the test. Yep. But for um, that, yeah, to knock it out, you're going to really, that'll really help. Yeah. Good. Another yeah. thing that you may do is, um, you know, since it is kind of crunch time, um, this may, and this may, this goes kind of goes for everybody, but, um, and let us know, like pop a number four, if, if this may, if what we're giving Kathleen is giving you some ideas on how it can help you too. Um, but setting up a reward system, um, is pretty cool too. I, I, you know, we do that with, with people on our team sometimes. And, uh, you know, we've done this in the past is, you know, again, we call it the 196 is, is there's 96, 15 minute increments in one day. Okay. Um, all I want to do is be really productive in eight for the most part. You know, I just want to be extremely productive in like eight of those 15 minute increments. Mm -hmm. Now for the next three days, if you can, if you can knock out eight 15 minute increments and you get, uh, you know, a point for each day. Okay. Or for each, let's say you knock out a point for each time you set the clock and you get something done that you really need to get done that's high priority, give yourself a point, right? 
And um, if you can get to X amount of points, let's just, just for math's sake and you know time's sake, let's just say you got 12 points. And 12 points earns you uh, to go get your nails done. You know what I mean? 12 points earns you to go get you know that pair of shoes that you wanted. You know what I mean? Um, don't do anything. Don't do anything outrageous. That's gonna like give you buyer's remorse. You know, or stupid. But just like, <laughs> but, massage. Like go get. I mean, something that you kind of would have done anyway. <laughs> You know, but yeah. now you've got an incentive behind it, you know, and I mean, in my, in my head, that's what like we do. Like I've, I, I have a goal for an Apple watch, you know what I mean? And like, I've told her, Hey, look, we hit that goal. I mean, can I go buy an Apple watch today if I wanted to? Of course, but no fun in that, you know I mean? There's no, there's no fun in saying like, okay, cool. I mean, whoop de do Right. Mm -hmm. But like, it, there's, there's, it's fun when you can go out and say, you know what, like, you know, let, let's let's hit this customer goal. Let's do this, and uh, and I'll go out and, and get an Apple Watch or something like that. You know, it's that's fun for me. Now I don't know; it, it may not resonate with you. It may not resonate with anybody watching. However, I've seen it work for people in the past, and it, yeah. it works for me. The reward system um, does work um, for me because I've done it before, and okay, cool. I think I just forgot just because of the crunch time of right. you know what I mean. And doing all the homework for your um, 14 Challenge has been amazing because I don't believe in rushing in anything. I want to be intentional about what I'm doing because I feel like when you rush through stuff, then it's not intentional. You're just trying, oh, I got to get this done. I got this done. And to me, if you really want something to work, you got to take that time and be, put a thought behind it, you know, oh, yeah. and be mindful yeah. about it. So I actually enjoyed these sure. exercises and some of the things I've done with my own clients, um, like burning the old me to the new me. Um, I had to put some thought into that. And so yeah. the time management pieces is just now that's just another layer of learning. Did I need to start being more, put more mindful behind that, be more mindful behind the time management part. Right. Right. No, I, I love it. And, um, and you know, I, I love someone that says, Hey, you know, just because it's a 14 day challenge, mm -hmm. you could take, you could take 21 days. You could take, uh, you could take three months to get through the stuff, mm -hmm. you know? The point is getting through it. Mm -hmm. You know, the point is actually doing the exercises because, you know, like we talked about last night. You know, we had a we had a, a one girl came to me and said, uh, mm -hmm. "I behind," so I just felt like I was going to quit. Okay, cool. Well, if, yeah. To, yeah. To the old person that you were before, right? Yeah. It's important that you get the stuff done. Yeah, and I find that it's important to do it in a way that resonates with you, that it brings some type of emotion to the to the forefront of it and doing some of the things I that I was doing. Um, sorry, my husband just got on the phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but doing these exercises for me has brought out some emotional response. And I Good. feel like since there's an emotional response, that means I'm getting somewhere, that I'm actually getting close to um, a growth spurt. I always tell um, people that, but I actually felt it this time. Like I'm having an emotional response to some of the things that I actually had to put some of my stuff down for a moment because I was having an emotional response to the exercises. And I was like, okay, I know this is a growing pain right here, but I'm going to just take a moment and breathe through it. And, and the same thing with the time management. I'm like, oh, this is another growth spurt for me. And I'm going to just work through this. So this was a great, great exercise, great homework, great video. And it's really been um, helping teach me a lot of things that I thought I already knew. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad you got some value out of it. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm proud of you because, again, I mean, it's, it's, it's one thing to, you know, just listen to something or watch something. It's another thing to watch it with intention and like and doing it with um, and saying, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of being the person that I was. I, I want to grow. And, and I mean, it's really, really awesome to, to you know, know someone's out there saying, you know what, if there's an emotional connection because that's the that's the key to growth. Honestly, it's like mm -hmm. when you when you find that emotional uh, connection, that's when feeling kicks in. Mm -hmm. And when something that's that creates a higher vibration and you know we all know that uh the higher your vibe the more you're, it's going to attract your tribe mm -hmm. right so the higher your vibration the more you get connected to the universe the higher your vibration uh, the more the universe sends back a high vibration 
uh, in response. And uh, so, you know, sometimes people can just say, you know what, okay, I did the exercise, but there's no emotional connection, there's no feeling, you're not gonna get anywhere. Right, you know? and that's why I wanted to take my time doing each exercise because I really wanted to be intentional. And I found being the, having that attention with each one, that's what created the um, emotional response. Yeah. Because I took the time. Yep. I took the time, time actually. (laughs) (laughs) Weird. It just, it just, how'd that happen? You can't make this stuff up, people. (laughs) No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, So, yeah, I mean, now, do you feel like that helped or do you feel like there's some other things that, that we can help you with? I mean, does that, no, that, 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 that's actually, I just wrote, mm mm-hmm. Gave me some action steps for the right. um, eight um, increments of 15 minutes. That actually I just wrote down for me to try that um, tomorrow. Okay. We're going to plug it in tomorrow. Okay. So that was great. Thank you so much, both of you. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. And let us know how you uh, you do this weekend, too. Like, oh, my you, gosh. <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> I've been a nervous wreck. <laughs> Got this. Yeah. Just follow the plan. Yeah, and then and then yeah. you know, see that vision again. I mean, um, you know, see yourself, you know, as um, you know, passing with flying colors mm-hmm. and being, you know, getting the award of Social Worker of the Year. You know what I mean? Like, like, envision that stuff, and you know, it'll that that will be the thing that will keep you doing what you may not want to do through Saturday, guaranteed. Oh, absolutely. I've been vision- I already been envisioning seeing my score, passing score, because it's on a computer. So okay. I already envisioned that it's the passing score that I need. You know, I already envisioned that. So yeah, I've been doing that um, as I was writing out my vision for this course. So yeah. Good. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love All right. It. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. Yes. I yes. will. Thank you, on. everybody. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Um, all right. So, um, definitely thank you, Kathleen. That was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff and, uh, and good coaching session. So if that helped you and you felt like you got any value from that, any nugget, anything that you could have taken from what we gave, uh, Kathleen pop a number seven in the, uh, in the comment section, just so we know. So like, let us know if that was helpful for you. Are we up to seven already? Yes, I skipped six because everyone puts like a bunch of sixes and then oh, it seems like oh, it seems like the gosh, broadcast gets yeah, evil yeah, after that. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No evil broadcast. See, Not go. here. No, no, no. You can do a bunch of sevens though. Even though it's day six. I did post the picture from Drake's album though. For day number six. Did you see it? Oh, I did not. You know, so missed it. I was being creative. I said, you know who's got you know, the number six on their album? And Drake. So shout out to Drake. Thank you, Drake. Uh, he sent that to us personally, so appreciate that, Drizzy. You the man. You the man. Okay. I think he's in the group. I don't know. He may not be. Up. Seen it. You seen so. Drake in here? No. Okay. I think he's on tour. Anyway, um, we help him with time management too and all that stuff. So if you uh, <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna come out, we do have a few more minutes. Uh, we got a couple more minutes, um, and then we gotta go get ready for uh, group coaching. So every Tuesday night we do group coaching with the ILC University members, all right? So um, every Tuesday night, 9 p.m., uh, we do personal coaching uh, where we break down uh, businesses, we, we, we answer questions specifically, and we show them what we're doing inside of our business uh, every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Fun times, Eastern. best night of the week. Yeah, best night of the week's Tuesday night. ILC University takes place. You know, that's why we got the... Uh, because we, we, we put it on Tuesday night. We're, we're, we're Professor Professor Wes and Professor Ryan going in. My lifestyle, actually. I yeah. cook dinner, too. That's why. Yes, and we got cook dinner and get well, kids I, ready. We, we, um, we, we. Here it comes. So. When's the last time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Y'all aren't going to see me again. Uh, He's going to be like, oh, you know what? Yeah. I already did it. I did it. Already? Yeah, we actually thought you yeah, were busy. Yeah, challenge, you know, so, um, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so, um, so, um, if you are a bronze member in ILC and you want to hang out with us tonight and possibly uh, get your questions answered live, get some live coaching, um, and get some action steps tonight, all you got to do is go into your back office and go to the upgrade button. 
Upgrade to Silver that gets you access to ILC University. Uh, and you can access tonight's group coaching. If you want to know whether or not, if you don't know, you say, you know what, I just don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if I should upgrade. You better yet. ask somebody. You better ask somebody. Find somebody that. Who in here is in ILC? Yep. Say, say, say um, ILC for life. Son. Mm -hmm. Let me see it. Let's see who's in. Let, so Let me see it. Find somebody that's in. Say, hey, look, have you enjoyed it? Have you gotten results? Has it changed your life? Find somebody that uses the hashtag ILC for life and, uh, and get with them. All right. And go to yeah. your back office. All you got to do is press the upgrade button and it will give you access to your new membership. All right, my friends. So have an amazing day. Um, reach out to Kathleen too. Reach out to Kathleen. Yeah, Say thank sure. you. Okay. Say thank you. Um, and if you got anything from uh, what we told her to do, just take action on it. That's the best way to say thank you. You know, um, you know the best way to go out there and and, um, and say thank you to anyone that gives you some good advice and, uh, and helps you out. Hey, just go do what they said do. That's the best way you can say thank you, and it will come back to you tenfold. I guarantee you. So, um, yeah. join us tomorrow for day seven, where we're going to be going over target market and social media setup. So if you want to learn how to find the people that are actually looking for what you have to sell, that's the video that's going to be released tomorrow. We'll give you some homework and we'll uh, we'll do we'll do something cool for the halfway point of your 14 day video challenge. So four. Video number four. <laughs> yes, this is how you make day a seven. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's getting it. All right. Got it. Got it. All right guys. Y'all have a good one, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have Bye, a good night. See you guys. Love you. See you guys at 9 p.m. for the university members. See ya.